Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Today's episode is actually a viewer requested email on how to actually clean the FN SCAR. So what we're going to do is go ahead and break this gun down and show you how this is done. Um, first, of course, we go ahead and check to make sure the chambers, no magazines in there, the chambers empty. And now we're going to do is go ahead and break it apart. Um, for those of you who own the SCAR, probably already know how to do this. Push this pin through. You pull the entire uh, lower receiver forward. Take that apart to the side. Now we are going to try to shortcut a few of these steps uh, just to try to do this all in all under 10 minutes. At this point we're going to go ahead and take the entire bolt carrier out. Take our charging handle off on the side. Um, of course you're going to go ahead and run some form of a, uh, uh, a brush down the pipe. Um, you, uh, we're going to brush down the barrel. Go ahead and clean it with a swab, get your gun oil in there, all that good stuff. I'm not going to demonstrate that. You sure can see that in plenty of my other videos. Uh, what I want to do is actually get down to the uniqueness of these parts. So, a couple of things. Um, the bolt carrier looks a little different. Um, I like to use a punch tool. I am actually use, I tend to use these uh, Glock punch tools for just about everything. So what we're going to do is go ahead and dismantle the bolt carrier itself. After we go ahead and pop that through, uh, you'll see this little piece right here. It's actually uh, uh, actually keeps the bolt in place. We take that out, pull the firing pin out the rear. Um, the bolt itself, we pull right out the side here. Um, this little cylinder, which actually holds the bolt in, and then we can pull the bolt completely out. Um, in a nutshell, that's your complete breakdown of the gun. As far as what you would clean on it, um, this gun's actually cleaned already, um, so I'm actually kind of uh, cleaning it a second time here for you. Um, I'm running a, a gun solvent across it to clean all the parts. Um, yours, of course, will come up a lot blacker than this one is since this is already cleaned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take all of this off, um, clean all the gunk out of here. Um, after I clean that, the bolt is actually one of the big questions. Um, Here's kind of an interesting uh, statement I'll say about the bolt. Um, I tend to like to tear apart my bolts and clean them uh, completely. The FN website, however, doesn't actually have, um, in fact, uh, tells you not to, has no indication of doing it, saying that it's something, you know, for a gunsmith or something like that. Uh, regardless, they, they don't give you any instructions how to break the bolt itself apart. Um, you may find it's, uh, there's like a little ring that actually tries to uh, tap this in to prevent you from getting to the um, ejector. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the same Glock tool, pushing it right through. So I'm pushing from one end through the other. Takes that out. Now I can get the little ejector. There's the spring in there and I can clean any uh, gunk that builds up in there. Um, since I tend to shoot the ammunition that everyone hates, um, I shoot a lot of cheap wolf ammo through my guns. Um, I like to really get in here and clean it, especially if I put a lot of rounds through it. So I'm going to go ahead and this is pretty much a D-bolt by itself, all stripped down. I'm going to go ahead and clean my ejector, same solvent. Um, I tend to like to put a couple of drops of uh, gun oil actually on the ejector itself. Mainly I like to put gun oil on any uh, moving parts. So I'm going to reassemble this. Hold this down. Get that little pin. Push it through. Um, you may also want to tap it through. I put that back together. Um, I'll also get some of this uh, gun oil and actually gun oil, pour some gun oil over the entire bolt itself. Um, kind of get it uh, wet, keep this thing wet. Now my day is go ahead and rebuild this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right in on the side here. Um, take the cylinder, pop the cylinder in here. 
And now you gotta think that the uh, when I'm popping the side cylinder in, which actually keeps this uh, uh, the bolt carrier forward, you need to make sure this is rolled to the rear so that they're lined up in parallel. I'm now gonna go ahead and take my firing pin, which I'll put just a little dab of gun oil on there. Stick it right in here. And now what I'm going to do is take that bolt that we talked about earlier that holds this in. And push it in. It'll stick out a little bit more on one side than the other. That's all you have to do on that portion of it. What I'm going to do, now we talked about the moving parts, uh, we talked about friction and where we want to go ahead and loop this up. Um, on the, if you look at your uh, FN scar and think about how the FN scar actually fits back into the system, um, this top portion, you're looking at any portion that actually has contact. Um, with this gun, you're going to find out that pretty much everything here is going to make contact with the gun. So what you want to make sure of with this particular gun is that everything that's running along this whole sliding area is completely lubed up. So as far as uh, points, I look at the rails of how the bottom catches. So I'll put a few drops in on the top portion. And the bottom one. best way and the easiest way to actually do this is if we actually take this over the entire system I'll run two beads of line, uh, two lines of gun oil one along that side, one along the bottom flip it over and do the exact same thing on the back so it's on the left and right of it and I'll actually drop gun oil right into where the bolt itself, so this whole thing should feel very wet um, you should be able to hear the gun oil pretty much slosh around in there. Um, a lot of people say I put a lot of gun oil on my guns. I'll tell you one thing, um, my guns rarely jam because of it, so um, that's kind of how I like to go ahead and run these. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it in. When you're actually reassembling the uh, weapon, you want to make sure that right along the side here, remember we had this little, uh, the bolt carrier itself, you want to make sure it's rolled toward the front so it lines up with a little guide in there. Slide it all the way in. Pop this back together. Uh, you'll have to roll this back once you get it in. I then go ahead and drop it in first. Pull the bolt carrier out a notch to line it up to go ahead and insert the charging handle back in. I lay it down on the table, makes it easier. Pop this back in. Go ahead and attach the stock to the back again. and then uh, build it back together. Um, you should see inside here, this should look very wet. Um, as you can see, I can see right along here, the glistening of the gun oil along the uh, bolt itself. Pretty much everything is completely covered in the gun oil. My guns will almost drip gun oil actually at the range. Um, so what happens is you'll go ahead and, what I do is recommend you start it a few times like this. And as you can see, I don't hear any friction along this gun. This is actually completely smooth. So after this point, um, I will go ahead and take some form of a dry cloth and wipe off any gun oil that happens to drip out of any of those spots. Like so. And the gun's clean. So. Um, I hope that goes in and helps. The key thing here really when you're looking at the entire carrier, uh, the entire uh, bolt carrier in there, is you want to make sure that you just lube the entire carrier down. Um, it's easier than trying to actually get inside the gun itself and trying to find little uh, connection points to lube up. I lube the entire carrier, let it roll back and forth to actually coat everything inside there. If you have any questions, please email me at info at civiliantacticalweapons.com and I hope to see you in a future episode.